guys, I'm back as promised. I am ready to do this video. I do notice that I'm becoming more myself. I'm getting used to the camera, which is very surprising because I really don't like to hear myself talk. But, you know, I'm rambling again. But hey, you know, time for the pros and cons of short to medium length natural hair. Okay, so as you know, I cut my hair in November, told you in the last video. So my hair is in that awkward stage. It's still kind of short, but it is longer than what it was. I do love my natural hair. I love my natural hair color. I'm trying not to dye it because like you can see with the purple, I love color. I love color. I love my black hair as well, but you know, I do, I miss the blues and the reds and but hey, maybe I just get wigs and just act like it's mine. I don't know. But anyway, on to what you came here to see. So, pros and cons of short natural hair. This time, I will start off with the cons. Cons of short hair. This is more so preferring to... Like if you recently bit chop, not if you transition, um, not like at the length of my hair is now, it's slowly becoming more. Um, when your hair is short, it's very hard to be versatile with it, um, like with your actual hair without adding in extensions or wigs. Um, when, especially when I first went natural five years ago, um, to when I big chop again last year. Uh, and started back at an extremely short length. Um, all I could do was either wear it in a fro wear, or wear a wig. Um, and then as it got a little longer, I was able to like do twist outs or you know, well, twist outs or flat twist outs, and that's pretty much it. My hair wasn't long enough to like do braid outs or curling ones or flexi rods or anything like that. It was extremely short. So finger coils and twist outs and flat twist outs or a fro was all I could walk out. It's like very, like you just laying your hair around. There's not much you can do with it. So I, it can be kind of frustrating because it's like you see everybody with medium to long natural hair. And it's like you can't really do anything with your hair. So, hey, that is a con to short hair. But some people love short hair. It's like, hey. That gets into the prompt, the pros with that. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, um, that's about it. Um, other than you can't do certain styles, that which is pretty much the only thing, the only bad thing about short hair is it really not being versatile. Other than that, unless you don't like short hair for yourself, which I particularly do not like short hair on me. Um. I feel my face is already kind of fat. I will forever have a fat, chubby face. No matter how much weight I lose. So, you know, I don't believe short hair fits my face. That is a personal opinion. But those are my cons. Um, my pros, which I have quite a bit of because I'm very familiar, like it's more recent for me, is that it retains moisture a whole lot better um, then, you know, my experience with my longer hair, my longer hair required, like, more product, um, to keep in the moisture, like, a long, like, a longer waiting period for my conditioner, for me, oh, that's just me, it may be different for someone else, but I do believe that short hair retains the moisture for a longer period of time than long hair, um, it's less hair that is exposed to our clothes, the weather, you know, all those factors that dry out our natural hair. Um, another pro for that is wash days are literally not something to dread anymore. Um, it's not like, oh, wash days. I gotta spend all day doing my hair. I have to make sure I have nothing else planned. No, that is not it. Literally, it takes me roughly like an hour or two to wash my hair deep condition and style my hair detangling is a stitch 
it is becoming a little bit more difficult because my hair is going out but because I know how to detangle it you know it is a stitch so hey you know if I use the bit natural it's fine it's like working out like perfect like hey you know so that is definite con um styling time like I said is very short depending on what style you do if I'm walking the fro then I'm walking the fro if I'm doing a twist out literally it probably takes another hour to do a twist depending on how big I do the twist because I can't do it too big because of course my hair is short so not all hair is going to go into one giant twist so yeah it's very and short hair is very low maintenance it doesn't take that much for me to for me to do my hair I don't have to do it like I said in the last video I can literally put on a wig cap and go if my hair is already in twist I can still put on it doesn't take that much to do my hair it really well it doesn't take that much to keep up with my hair I can literally have this in twist what well, anyhow any kind of style I can literally wear a twist out for like two weeks where I wash and go for like two or three weeks without risk of me feeling like my hair is going to mat up or it's going to be super tangled because my hair is so short that I can run it under the water and lightly finger detangle and it will be tangle free. Shed hair comes out really easily. It doesn't take that much to keep up with it. As long as I keep it moisturized, it's good. Um, it is an easy upkeep. Really doesn't take that much. I can rock three different styles from one style, three or four, depending on, you know, how my hair is particularly reacting and what style it is. So it's very good to upkeep. So I know with long enough hair, it's like you run the risk of tangling your hair, matting your hair, because my curls love each other. And I'm believing a lot of people's curls love each other. So let's take, for example, this. My hair, like this is like long natural hair. I have it at a, like, let's say a braid out. Because how long is it? I have a braid out. It's constantly rubbing across my shirt. Therefore, it's drying up my ends. My ends are becoming brittle. And then when you put it in a bun or a pineapple, like you keep manipulating it, it becomes drier. And depending on how you style your hair, your end, like your hair becomes matted. And it gets all these tangles in it, but when your hair is short, it's not that much length to get tangled in. So it's like it's very easy to detangle. It's very easy to stretch out and upkeep styles without that worry. Without, you know, your hair retains moisture a lot longer because it's not rubbing against your clothes or rubbing against something because, you know, it's long and that's drying it out. So that is a pro for me. Um... Easy, it's easy to moisturize. It doesn't take that much product. Um, and it's easy when it's in that short stage to experiment with what with different products. Because while it's short, you're learning what your hair, especially if you're newly natural, you're learning what your hair likes and doesn't like. The first couple months, I would say, wait roughly about... If you big chop, like if you like low cut or whatever, um, you really didn't transition, I would say probably wait like two to three months because you have that scab hair that grows out, which is not your actual texture. Um, after that scab hair, that is your actual texture. So once like you get rid of your scab hair, you can always experiment with different products to see what your hair does like what it doesn't like you can also do the porosity test to see if what porosity your hair is so you can get products that fits according to that um <clears throat> i treat my hair like very dry hair like it's extremely dry basically i treat it kind of like um oh, 4c hair which 4c is hard to keep moisturized because the it's coily it's so tightly coiled so that's how i treat my hair my hair loves it um I, my hair loves moisture but it is not, it doesn't lose more i think my hair is like normal porosity if i have to guess i may do a porosity test i don't know i'm not with 
the porosity and hair typing thing but hey if it may help you guys shit it may even help me i don't know we'll see i don't know that's something to think about but i do keep my hair highly moisturized i use highly moisturizing products on my hair the only thing that probably wouldn't be extremely moisturizing that i put on my hair other than oil would be like the styling cream that i use but a lot of styling creams i use are also highly moisturizing moisture is a key thing that i learned with natural hair you have to keep it moisturized it works better if it's moisturized it cooperates better if it oh, excuse me if it is moisturized moisture 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 key 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 if you don't know anything about natural hair or hair in general water moisture is a must especially if you want it to grow long and healthy or just be healthy in general moisture okay I'm done with that um yeah that's pretty much it you get to learn what your hair likes what it doesn't like what works for your hair basically short hair is is what you need to go through really to to get to long hair if that is your goal i feel as though i did transition for a couple months but when i big chop my hair was still fairly short and i feel like that really helped me to learn my hair what it doesn't like so even when i cut it again i still use the same products that i've used for five years i use the same products Yes, I do experiment with some products. If I see something that looks good and my friends don't have it, because that is one thing. If your friends are natural or trying to go natural and you want to try something out and they have it, ask them, can you use it? That is one thing that I did um, do a lot, especially because I was in college, man. All my roommates were natural. So if I didn't have anything, I would try their products. Of course, with their permission, not without their permission. So, hey, you know, experiment with your hair. I'm not saying with color. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, see what it is that your hair needs to grow. See what it likes. And get staple products for your routine. It's okay to try new things, but make sure you have those staple products, that staple routine that makes your hair happy and want to grow. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below if you have short hair, if you have long hair, what you've learned about your hair, what products work for your hair, such and such. If you have any more pro pros and cons that I didn't mention that you feel as though people should know, comment below. Shit, I might not even thought of that. It might work for me too. Let me know. So, also, comment below for another video you would like for me to do because it is hard coming up with videos especially since my hair is in a protective style and I'm not really doing my hair why not give me video suggestions hey I did see this really cool video but we will see about it I'll see maybe about doing it I don't know I don't know, I don't know. but anyway don't forget to subscribe big red button under the video says subscribe. Subscribe, click on the bell so that you would know when I post a video. So, if you already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, why aren't you? It's not going to take anything away from you. So, hey, if you don't like my videos, I'm sorry. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.